All right, the last lesson in the stats unit is still uh, we're going to be dealing with z-scores, but this time we're going to be finding values. All right, so uh, yeah, so in the last video uh, we were finding percentages. All right, uh, so this time what we want to do is we actually want to find uh, values, which is kind of like uh, doing a uh, what we call a reverse lookup. All right, so anyways, it's uh, best illustrated through an example. All right, so I'm going to uh, just do this example here. So the manufacturer of a cell phone has determined that the phone requires servicing after a mean of 40 months, so an average of 40 months, with a standard deviation of 4.5 months. And we want to determine what length of warranty should be offered if the manufacturer wants to repair less than 2% of the phones under their warranty. Okay, so this is kind of a logical um, or common um, common question that uh, some manufacturers will ask right so when how should they set the warranty um, so that they only want to repair less than two percent of their phones all right so if we were to um, draw a, a bell curve here all right so basically what it's saying is that uh, we have a cell phone and after 40 months so the mean is 40 on average it requires servicing um, standard deviation is 4.5 and basically, we want to figure out what this warranty should be such that um, the percentage here is 2%. Okay, so we're kind of doing things backwards. Uh, last lesson, or last video, uh, we, were try we were trying to find the percentages all right, for this marker. Uh, so this time, we're trying to find X uh, given the percentage. Okay, so, um, so hopefully that makes sense. All right, so... Uh, what we want to do here is our first step is to go through our Z tables and try to find 2% in it. All right, so I'm just going to pull up the Z table. Um, so here's that Z table. All right, so remember, these are the Z values down the side here. And within the grid here, these are the percentages. All right, so what I want to do is I want to find 2%. Um, and the thing with the percentages you'll notice is that they get um, bigger and bigger as you go down. Uh, and the Z scores get smaller and smaller. All right, so uh, so for instance here, this is like 1.07%. All right, so it's written as a decimal. So I'm just going to keep scrolling down until I find. All right, so here's 2.28. Here's uh, 0.17. All right, so I'm just going to go along here. So notice that these percentages get smaller, and at some point here, it goes from 2% to 1.97%. Okay, so uh, so yeah, so either one of these is actually fine. Uh, but the one I'm going to choose here is uh, this percentage right here. Okay, so this represents uh, this Z value here of negative 2.05. Okay, so you saw I read that. I went down this column, negative 2.0, then 5. That Z value has a percentage of 2.02%. All right, so that's kind of uh, like close enough. Right, so I'll highlight that. I'll highlight that. Okay, so the Z value that corresponds to 2% is negative 2.05 okay so what i'm going to do here is just write that the z value equals negative 2.05 okay so this z value corresponds to uh, two percent all right so if you recall there was a formula that we used uh, to convert uh, or to find a z value and the formula was z equals x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation all right, so um, so in this case, since we have a percentage of 2%, we know that Z is negative 2.05. Um, so I'm gonna use that, plug that into the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, I'm solving for X. And from here, I wanna subtract the mean, which was 40, and divide by the uh, standard deviation, which in this case was 4.5. Okay, so we know the standard deviation is 4.5. All right, so um, so yeah, so this is the equation that we want to solve, and we want to solve for x. Okay, so this negative 2.05, this again is the z value. It is not the uh, percentage. All right, uh, it's just kind of a coincidence, right? 2%, negative 2.05. These are two separate things. All right, so the 2% here represents the percentage, obviously, and uh, we looked it up, and we found that the z corresponding z value is negative 2.05. All right, so we want to solve this equation. We want to solve for x. So, uh, yeah, the very first uh, day, I think we did some equations, and um, yeah, we were solving for x. So we we'll do the same thing here. So I want to isolate x. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4.5. Right, 
so that on the right hand side the 4.5s cancel and we get x minus 40 is equal to uh, let's just pull up the calculator here down here all right so uh, i'm going to punch a 4.5 times uh, negative 2.05 so 2.05 negative and that's equal to negative 9.225 uh, so negative 9.225 all right and then uh then what i want to do here is uh, solve for x, so I'm going to move the 40 over to this side, so I've got plus 40. And as a result, if I add 40 to this value here, we get 30.775. So x is equal to uh, 30.775. All right, so, um, so this is the number of months, so this is the x value under this situation so this number here the x value here would be 30.775 in order to get two percent all right so yeah so basically manufacturer the warranty um should be uh if we round it we're always gonna if you're a manufacturer okay so imagine you're a manufacturer you're gonna round it down or you're gonna round it up um all right so if i round it up all right so if i go larger then I'm actually going to have a, a percentage of more than 2%. It's going to be slight, but it's still going to be more. So in this case, yeah, naturally you would round this up. However, uh, since, you know, it's better to repair as a manufacturer, less than 2% as opposed to more than 2%, um, we're going to round this one down. All right, so the warranty should be 30 months. All right, and we're done. All right, so um, actually, you know what? So maybe I'll explain that a little bit further. Um, so let's say we have this bell curve, right? And we know right at 30.775, this percentage in here is 2%. Well, if I take this uh, and move the bar over and say I want the warranty at 31, well, then I'm just adding in more percentage. So this, this would therefore be more than 2%. All right, so I don't know about you, but if I ran a company and did a warranty, I'd probably want to repair less than 2% than more than 2%. So that's why I rounded this down. All right, so rounded it down to 30 months. Uh, so they're actually going to end up um, repairing less than 2% uh, mathematically. All right, All right so um, yeah, so again, if you read the question here, uh, it says what warranty should be offered if the manufacturer wants to repair uh, less than 2%. All right, so if I was to round it up to 31 months, then I'm going to be repairing slightly more than 2%, all right, but we want to repair less than 2%. Cool. All right, so that's that. It was a fairly quick one. Uh, hopefully that made sense. All right, cheers.